So at this stage, all the functional goals for the application are complete, but the overall appearance of our application is pretty poor. So when we create a project using the MVC template, like we have done, some common client-side development packages are installed. One of these client-side libraries is called Bootstrap, which is a good CSS framework originally developed by Twitter and has become a major open source project and a mainstay of web application development. So we're going to use basic Bootstrap features and and apply them to our project to spruce it up a bit. Now, there are several ways we could install Bootstrap. We could choose to include via CDN. However, as I said before, Bootstrap has been included in our project. So we can link Bootstrap to our project and let us link it to our index file. Let us put a link right before our title and let's add our style sheet. Let's add an href attribute, and this is going to be in the library forward slash bootstrap distribution CSS bootstrap dot CSS. And this is how we can link bootstrap to our project. And if you'd like to know where this is included, it's in our library. And here it is, our bootstrap distribution. All right, now we can add some of these CSS rules to our document. And if you'd like to know more about CSS, please feel free to check out the Bootstrap website and you can check out some of the examples and the documentation, which will show you some of the different classes that can help you with layout, content, forms, components, right, buttons. So we're actually going to use uh, one of these classes to style our button. We'll probably be using this primary button class. So let's go back to our project and let me add a class and I'm going to set this class to text dash center so we can center our text and let's add another heading. Let's add an H4 beneath this. All right, and as I said, we're going to add a class to our button. So let's add our class. Let's say class and let's give it a BTN. And let's just ensure that we're adding the right class BTN space BTN dash primary. So BTN space BTN dash primary. And now let's run our program and check out our new styling. All right, so we have, you can see that the CSS has been added. Our text has been centered and we have a nice book now button. All right, so of course we have to style our RSVP form. So let us do that now. Let's stop our program and we're going to use, include this same style sheet to our RSVP form and we can add it right here. And I'm going to add a header, an H5, and I'm going to give it a class of BG-primary. I'm going to set the text to text-white. I'm also going to center the text so we can add a text center. And I'm going to add some styling for mobile devices as well. All right, so that is our book now. And in our form action, I am also going to add a class here. And I'll give this the M-2 class. And for each one of our divs that contain an input field, so first one for name, I am going to add a form-group. And I'm just going to copy this and paste it for each one of our input fields. I'm also going to add a form control class for our input fields. So here where we have our name input, I'm going to add a class called form dash control. And I'm also going to add it 
to the other fields as well. And we can add it to our select field here. And now we can also add a BTN primary class to this button. So let us add a class BTN, BTN dash primary. And let us check out our RSVP form class. All right, so now when we click on boot now, this is what our class will look like. Okay, so now we can see that the form fields have changed. And if we try to submit, we see our validation errors here showing up. All right, finally, we're going to style the thanks view and also the list view. So let us go to our thanks page. And once again, I'm going to copy my bootstrap and add it to the head of my thanks page. And I'm not going to do much with our thanks page, but I will add a class to the body and I will align the text to the center of the page. All right, so that will pretty much be it for the thanks view. And finally, our list responses page. I'm going to add my style sheet and I'm also going to add a div. So let me add a div. And I'm going to put my header and my table inside my div. All right, so now I can add a rule or CSS style to my div and I'm simply going to set it to class and I'm going to center my text. I'm going to give this a P2, P2, P-2. And I'm going to also add a class to our table. If we go back to our bootstrap, to the bootstrap. So if we go back to the bootstrap website and we should be able to find some styling for tables. Okay, so if we click on tables and we look and we can just scroll through and look at some of the different types of tables. If we would like to have a table with a border and a stripe, we can add these classes to our table class. So I'm going to use the striped table, All right? So our table can look like this. All right, so let us add that rule. All right, so table class. First, we're going to say table bordered. So table, table dash bordered. And then table dash striped. And also table dash SM. All right, so we want our table to be able to resize to a small table as well. All right, now let us run this program. Okay, so let's close these other instances. So let us click on book now and let's just enter some users. Let's just say Sue and let's just say yes. And let's click to see who will be attending. And we see that we've added Sue to the list of attendees. All right, so let's add another. And he'll also be attending. Let's submit. And we see we're getting our striped table styling. So this brings us to the end of our simple project that we have built. We've created a new ASP.core project and we have used it to construct a simple data entry booking application. And it has shown us some very important ASP.NET Core features such as tag helpers, model binding, and data validation. All right, so in our next project, we'll be looking at how to build a database-driven web application using our SQL 2019 server. All right, so see you then.